What's going on guys? Pokemon Trainer George here, back with another opening. And I'd like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. At the recording of this video, right now it's just about 10 o'clock on Christmas, and I had gotten um, some small packs and boxes of Pokemon cards, and I really want to open them, and I wanted to push this off till tomorrow, but I'm not sure how my day is going to look, and I just, I just can't wait. I, I just really want to open them. So yeah, let me, uh, let's get started. Let me just show you what we have. Um, the first thing is a Vivid Voltage. It's like a, this isn't a blister. I don't know what you call this. It's just, it's three packs and a promo with a little promo coin. We're gonna get into that. That's a uh, Vivid Voltage. We have the double box with four Champions Path packs inside and a double. I don't think I've actually, I think this is the one Champions Path product I have yet to open. So that's cool, just so I can get the double um, promo. Or I have opened it and I just completely forgot. Uh, that is always an option as well. We also have this uh, Pokemon lunchbox. So I have something to store my food in when I go to middle school. But um, yeah, this comes with five packs and some other uh, some other cool things inside. We'll explore it. I, I'm interested in it for its storage though, even though I have a bunch of tins and everything at this point. But you know, you, you know you're gonna run out of room one day. And then something that I'm really excited for is if you saw my one of my first couple videos, it was the dollar store packs. So I managed to find some more. And these are Sun and Moon. The other ones were Rebel Clash, I think. But uh, I haven't opened too many Sun and Moon packs. So we got, I actually had 40 of these I got for Christmas. Um, but I was super impatient when I opened them. So I opened five. So currently there's 35 right here. But don't you guys worry, because I basically didn't pull anything good at all, which I was kind of hoping I wouldn't, if that makes sense, just because I was like, ah, oh, I wasn't on camera, of course. But now we get to open the other 35. So I think we're gonna start, I don't know, do I want to get through these whole packs first and then get into the boxes? Yeah, let's do that. So we have 35 packs of Sun and Moon here. And what I learned from the last time with these dollar store packs, it's three cards. You are not guaranteed pretty much anything. You can get all commons, uncommons. You can get rares, higher than rare, uh, higher than rares. There is even parallel rares in here, as parallel foils as well. It's been a long day for Christmas, so I'm, I'm probably going to be mixing up my words a lot. But um, yes, yeah, so you're not really guaranteed any good pulls at all. But for a dollar, if you saw my other video, I pulled. I think it was my first rainbow rare, so that was pretty cool from a dollar store pack. I can't complain. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna start opening these up. We got 35. I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly because I don't want this to be a super long video and I have the other stuff to get to as well. So Christmas haul 2020, let's see what we can do. Okay, so pack number one, just gonna bust through these, hopefully get something cool. All right, pack one, we have an Alolan Rattata. We have a, um, Reverse Hollow Pincer. We'll put that down to the side. And we have a Tour Cat. And then uh, these ones actually, I don't think the Rebel Clashes came with these. These are all little, hey, watch Pokemon or check out the new set or just little cards. They're not even codes. They're just ads, I guess, which I thought was interesting they would include. So in our first pack, we got two uncommons and a common. So no rare, but hey, we got 34 more to go. Uh, all right. Yeah, actually, uh, so this pack number two, we have a Spearow, a Psyduck, and a, that's kind of lame that they will give you an energy in the three packs though. I, in my opinion, you shouldn't, <sighs> they are a dollar though. That's, it's hard, it's really hard to argue with anything for a dollar. But my sister had actually found me these packs because the dollar store near me had the Rebel Clash and then I couldn't buy anymore. They took them down after I had purchased uh, like 25, I think. So I actually knew she was getting me these for a while and I've been so excited to open them. So that's pretty much why I couldn't wait till tomorrow. And I am uh, recording YouTube and opening packs at 10 o'clock at night on Christmas. All right. Got a Dupiter, an Alolan Diglett, and a Bulldor. In one of the five packs I opened off camera, um, I did pull a rare. It was like a two cannon though. Really nothing special. Oh, we have a Litten, 
a reverse drowsy. This is probably my favorite drowsy of all time. I think every time I pull this card, I always talk about his just lonely, depressing walk on the beach. It'll be okay, drowsy. And an energy switch, and then another one of these useless ad cards. Okay, we got a Surskit, a Fomantis, and a Herdier. So, so far, I do not believe that is any rares. I could check. We got a Young Goose, a Torkoal, and Electric Energy. Okay. All right, well, I mean, for a dollar. What do you really expect? All right, we got a Caravana, a Snubble, and a fairy energy. <laughs> you know, if I got a foil energy, I wouldn't even be that mad. I'm trying to have one of every foil energy. I think I have, just from pulling packs without like buying singles, I think I have like four right now. All right, pack number something. We got an Alolan Meowth, a reverse rare beware. I said it like that for a reason. That's not too bad. At least we got our first rare and a great ball. Card's a little warped. Beware always was like a super weird looking Pokemon to me. It literally looks like a suit, like, um, what do you call it? Like a sports mascot or something. And there's just like some guy inside of it. Just moving around and beating people up. That's, that's totally the vibe I get. Okay, we got a Litten. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. We have a Tauros GX in the rainbow secret format which is really cool. It's some really nice texture. Let's just see what's the other one. A Dark Tricks. Okay, get rid of that. So uh, yeah, this is why I love dollar store packs because I mean, it is a secret. I can't see Taurus being too much money, um, but this is from a dollar store pack. These are, these are the pulls I'm looking for. That is a beauty right there. Tauros GX with the Mad Bull GX move. That's really cool. We're gonna set him down ever so gently. Awesome. Okay, so that's what I wanted. The rest of these can all be three energies in each pack, and I'll be happy. I mean, no, I, you know, I want as many cool rares as possible, but that that was really nice to see. It's, it's just so good. It's such a good feeling pulling something like that out of something you paid a dollar for. I mean, these granted, these were gifts, so I didn't pay anything for them, but you guys know what I mean. All right, we got a drowsy, a relic. And a timer ball. Okay. Yes, we are reverting to the teeth, guys. We got a Marini, a Crabrawler, and another timer ball. These ones are kind of harder to open because at least like a regular pack, it has seven more cards in it or eight more, including well, this has the extra card, so not including the code card, but you can kind of use its own, the pressure of the cards to pop it open, but since there's missing uh, a bunch, it's a little harder. All right, so we have a Tauros GX, three reverse hollows. Let's see, usually I would just rip it, but I've kind of been bending the packs that I did that to, and I don't want to ruin anything. Okay. We have a Marini, a Lantern, that's a rare, and a Psychic Energy. Uh, we'll actually, we'll put the rares over there, because I know I'm looking for the real rares in these dollar store packs. Yeah, so Sun and Moon was way before. That was in my, my, my large hiatus from Pokemon cards. So, oh, excuse me. <laughs> what was that? Was that a growl? Um, I've opened some of the Sun and Moon packs before. I know I've seen this drowsy like countless times, but I haven't opened a whole bunch. Okay, that's a non holofoil pincer. For expedience sake, we're going full teeth mode. We got an Alolan Grimer. Another Beware, which is not foil. So we're going to stick them in the regular pile. Oh, well, that actually opened way too easy. 
not that I'm complaining. We have a Poplio, a Stuffle, and a Poliwhirl. Oh, I thought that was a rare, but why would a Poliwhirl be rare? Okay, I've learned the secrets of these packs. You just open them like a normal pack. <laughs> All right, we have a Growlithe. We have a Reverse Repel. I know Wishy Washy. You know, I saw the foiling and I was like, yes, another one. Not quite. All right, we still have a bunch to go. So I'm trying to really get through these fairly quickly. I don't really want to put out a 40 minute Christmas video, but hey, if it happens, it happens. Cosmog. God, <laughs> the, more, the more basic energies I get, the the more I am disappointed they put them in here at all. We got a Chincho, a Hariyama, which is a rare, and a Crushing Hammer. When I play the card game online and my opponent, which I usually, uh, I play some versus, but I play a lot of just like, uh, I play with the theme decks against the computers because I'm not that great yet. Yet, and I hate when they hit me with the Crushing Hammer. It makes me discard energy. So annoying. All right, we have a fungusy Pokemon, Fomantis, a Pokemon Catcher, Bone Sweet, a Skarmory. Oh, that's actually really cool art for Skarmory. I think he's like screaming right in your face. That's cool. And a Trumbeak. Yeah, if I pulled that Tauros in one of the five packs that I opened off camera, I would have been pretty upset. Because who would have believed me that it came out of a dollar store pack? Cosmog and Incineroar, which is a rare. I'm actually a really big fan of Incineroar. The whole line, I quite like. I'm like a cat person. So uh, you give me a big, <laughs> a big angry fire wrestling cat and there's nothing more I could ask for. All right, so we're getting through these. Pretty, pretty quickly. A reverse crab crabonab crabonable crab abominable abominable crabominable crabon crab yeah. <laughs> you guys know what I was going for. Okay. Let's see. We have ten or so packs left. I kind of haven't been counting too much. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. A reverse rare Incineroar, which I am not mad at. I will gladly take that right after pulling the other guy too. These uh these reverses from this set are pretty cool. They have like the uh, typing symbols, a big one, and then the rest in like rows behind it. I actually like that. Okay. A uh, reverse rare Kangaskhan. What is this one screaming about? Oh, it's pissed. It's angry. Somebody smacked its kid, and he is not happy at all. Getting a decent amount of reverse foils in here, especially rares for some reason. Most of the reverses we got like have been rares, which I find interesting. Sandy Gas, Dratini, <laughs> and Energy. I'm just trying to make some pattern when I keep talking about the rares and the um, the reverse foil rares, or whatever. I'm like trying to think of a pattern in my mind. Like, okay, so since they're three cards, you're kind of, you know, you're guaranteed this in every so many packs, but I just really have no idea what I'm talking about. A Grelith, a Beware again. That's a rare and a Gobat. I would love one more secret. I mean, I, who wouldn't? But I would like maybe a full art, another GX, just one other, uh, one other, one other pretty neat hit. Carvana, Snubble, and a Trumbeak. All right, a Wingle, a Lillipop. Ah, that energy. Yes. So after this pack, this is our sixth, and then we have five more. 
will there be a nice hit in there somewhere? Ah, I hate how a Alolan Persian looks. Its head is just so big and dumb. I just, I just can't stand it. I really can't. Azubat. There we go. Awesome. So we got a Umbreon GX that is a beauty with some really nice texture on it in the Dark Call GX move. All right, so two GXs, one being a secret. I am more than happy that that I got to run the prices to see if it was worth the packs, but that is a beautiful card. Two GXs out of some dollar store packs. One's a secret. Now that's what I call pulls. <laughs> awesome. I believe this is one of the shiny vault cards, right? That, that he comes up. Uh, uh, Umbreon is just the yellow is blue in his shiny form. But I'm sure that would look pretty cool. I think it, if, if that's not the uh, shiny vault one from like Hidden Fates, it looks pretty similar to it. I'm pretty sure it is. But... Sandile. Oh, a double colorless energy, which is a reverse. That's cool. An EXP share. I was complaining about the energy. They knew they had to give me a, uh, an uncommon foil one somewhere in here. Oh. All right, well, we got a Psychic Energy, a Toga Tomorrow, and an Alolan Grimer. Okay, two packs left. We can get into some of the other boxes. Got a Torkoal. A reverse Alolan Diglett. Last pack, and I didn't plan this, but it has Incineroar on it. So I'm feeling good. And now is the part where it lets me... I don't know, I did pull the uh, the last, the secret of my last dollar store pack is the last card, so. All right, one thing I did learn, though, is if it is ever like a GX or a really rare card, it's the middle card. So after the first one... It's all over. All right, we got a reverse Pokey Catcher and a Tor Cat. So, all right, guys, that was $35 store packs. I ended up pulling a Umbreon GX from it. And a Tauros GX, which is the secret, which, uh, you know, for dollar store packs, I'm just going to scoop these up, put them all to the side because I need more room. Um... Yeah, I mean, they're not bad. I guess if you went into the store and you paid like $5 and got, got the five packs I pulled off camera, I'd be like, eh, I really got nothing. It's kind of a waste of $5. Unless you just like opening packs. Once again, they are a dollar. But uh, getting the Tauros and Umbreon, yeah, that was, uh, that was nice. So far, I'm uh, two and two for the secret rares out of a bunch of dollar store packs. Um, what do we want to open next? I'm actually not sure what packs are in this. So uh, I'm kind of tempted to find out. So we have the lunchbox. I'm going to slide these two over to the side. I'm not sure if they're still in camera. I'm going to grab our handy dandy battering. Slice it open. I'm really upset. I tried to find like a, uh, a Santa hat and there's just none in my house at all. I thought I would have at least one lying around. I'm wearing red, so that's... And there's like a camo shirt under here, so it's like red and green. I found it satisfactory. Satisfactorily festive. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of some cardboard. It's my first time opening one of these. One of these lunchbox type, lunchbox type tins. So we're gonna pop it open and see what we have inside. Okay, that's neat. So you get... Three promos, a foil, oh, this is, these are one of these ones, a foil Grookey, a foil Sobble, and a foil Pikachu. No, I'm just obviously a score bunny that's actually a pretty cool score bunny with like the fire around him kind of looks like old school like japanese art and then you also get a coin 
So I kind of like collecting these coins now since there's like so many different ones. I have like five or six or seven or eight or some number. But I always like uh, pulling another one. So this is uh, all three of the starters I just mentioned. Uh, Score Bunny, Sobble, and Grookey. So that's that. And then let's see what packs are in here. We have a Cosmic Eclipse. A Burning Shadows. Oh, okay. And Evolutions. That's neat. And two base sword and shields. We have a code. Oh, is there something else in here too? What is all this? Oh, they're stickers. So you have a Score Bunny, a Grookey, and a Sobble sticker. You have more Score Bunny, Grookey, and Sobble stickers. You got Zashian and Zamanzetta. And you have big Zashian and Zamanzetta. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I'll stick these on anything. I'll probably honestly keep them forever until they are not sticky anymore. And then you also get a Pokemon notepad to write down what you want for lunch. And one of these little like Pokemon binders, which have, I don't know, I would say like 20, maybe 30 slots in here. It's like a little pocket one. You can put your rarest Pokemon cards in there and bring them with you wherever you go. We're going to stash this stuff back in here and get to some packs. I actually don't remember how much this one is, but uh, you get five packs. Stickers are cool. Um, I probably will keep the notepad, never write on that either. But yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a nice container to kind of hold everything in. And then you can kind of walk around like you're a boss with your uh, $600 Charizard cards, you know. Okay, so let's do, we got two sword and shield, so let's do those first. Pack number one, with the G-Max Lapras on the front. Ah, uh, see, there we go. This feels so much better opening a regular pack. Just It's just like more sturdy. All right, we'll get the coat out the way. We get to do the fun to the front. We have a fighting energy, a seeking, a thwacky, a lucky egg, I need some of those in Pokemon Go. A Nicket, a Chinchow, a Diglett, a Ferrisseed, a Goldeen, a Reverse Score Bunny, another Foil Score Bunny. And for the rare, we have a Foil Boltund. Okay, we put the Reverse there and the rares down here. The second Sword and Shield Pack. There we go. Yeah, you can rip these open when there's uh, the right amount of cards in them. We have an Electric Energy. Oh, I don't know why that's down there. A Pokey Gear. An Aurora Energy. Okay. A Ferrothorn. A Sizzlepede. Galarian Zigzagoon. My boy. A Yarn Muna. Muna? Probably Muna. Muna. Yeah, I'm going to call it Muna. Like Moon. Moonlight. Another yarn Pokemon. I, I keep saying I'm going to start the collection one day of like the yarn Pokemon. And I just never get around to it. But uh, maybe if I can pull them in like reverse foil form. Snom. A Grookey. A reverse Sizzlepeed. And for the rare, we got a Roserade. All right. So those are the two Sword and Shield packs. We're going to move on to, uh, we'll save the Evolutions. We will open a Burning Shadows with one of the Tapus on it. I want to say Tapu Lele, Tapu Coco. Those are the only two, or Tapu Bolo or Bolro or something. I don't know. Those are some of the legendaries names I just have never learned. A Dark Energy, a Rhydon. That's actually pretty cool. That, that, that looks like a really nicely animated anime screenshot right there. If you've seen, like, Demon Slayer, you know what I mean. A Lunatone. That's actually pretty cool art for Lunatone. Like, it's the moon kind of hanging in the sky with the sky... Uh, hanging in the sky with the sky behind him. Yeah, okay. As I was saying that, it just didn't sound right. A Seedra. A Mudbray. And a Lolan Ratatata. That's actually pretty cool art, too. A Panport. A Caterpie. A Porygon. A reverse Rhydon, which was the really nice anime one. And for the rare, we have a Turtonator. 
Oh, I actually didn't even know he had like the whole star on the front of him since I think whenever I've seen him in the games, he's always been from behind. You know, he keeps his like spiked back at you, so. Interesting, I never knew that's what he looked like. Uh, let's get into a Cosmic Eclipse. I haven't opened too many Cosmic Eclipse, even though I would like to. That's a code. I think it's Cosmic Eclipse 4. Let's, yep. We got a Fire Energy, a Golduck, Will Smith, a Mimikyu, a Stuffle, a Ponyard, a Lit Leo, a Coughing, a Nosepass, a Reverse Foil Cosmog, okay, and for the rare, we got a Braviary, I always want to say Bravaria, and I don't know why, like Bavarian, a Bavarian Cream Donut, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, that leaves us with an Evolutions with the Mega Blastoise on the front. And you guys know what time it is. It's time to play the I Never Pull Anything from Evolutions game. Insert applause here. Okay. Get the code out the way. And I believe Evolutions is three, if I remember correctly. We have a Switch. Nidorino. Pidgeot Spirit Link. A Growlithe, an Onyx, a Nidoran Male, a Poliwag, a Grass Energy. For the reverse, we have a Foil Onyx, and for the rare, if it's a Farfetch, I'm cutting the video off right now. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny I say that, um, because Electrode is like my second least favorite thing to f pull. It's, it's Farfetch and Electrode are right up there with um, Pokemon I never want to see again, so... Yeah, there's that. All right, guys, that was the Lunchbox tin. So we are going to get into, let's do the three Vivid Voltage packs up next in this uh, extended blister booster pack. Uh, so this comes with three Vivid Voltage, a coin, which I mentioned, you know, I'm into the coins. and actually don't have the Lugia one and a promo Vaporeon, which is neat. Oh, oh, code card just came out. So we'll pop that out. Three. Oh, I was kind of glued in there. So we have the Vaporeon promo. This is actually... Who's the artist on this? So Does that say Sotoro? Or Taro? I need a magnifying glass to read that, but that is actually a really beautiful card. That is fantastic artwork. That might be some of the best I've ever seen on a Pokemon card. Just like the style, I think, is really nice. Really skillful. So that's the Vaporeon promo. We got a Lugia coin. What an interesting choice to put like, you know, it's like mid-flight with its arms, you know, but just to have like the two fingers kind of coming into the screen of the coin. All right, so we got three vivid voltage and let's get into them. We'll get the code out of the way. And one, two, three, and a four. And we have a fighting energy, a Moo Moo Cheese, still sounds gross, a Duat, a Ferrothorn, a Fairy, a Fampy, a Yanma, a Glaring Meowth, a Duskull, a Reverse Shove It, and for the rare, <laughs> okay, let's go. First pack, we got a V, I will take that. Um, oh man. I was going to say, just from the looks of it, if you could see how thin this side is versus how thick, flip it over, and oh man, what is that? What is that centering? What Who did, who, who did, who cut this? But I'm not mad. I still got a Zarude, 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 Zarude V, uh, which I am pretty positive I do not have. So that one's going to stick up there. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't think... I'm waiting for a card where, I I mean, I don't think the movie is in America yet or will be for a while, but with him, uh, what is it, something jungle? I don't remember. But he has like the uh, pinkish purple scarf that he wears, and I think that'd be a pretty cool card too. So that's cool. We got one of those. Oh. Uh, well, I guess we'll open the pack with him on it next for good luck. And we got the code card out of here. One, two, three, four. A Psychic Energy. 
Excadrill, Bay, B, I know, Giraffe Rig. Now, this is just for anybody who sees this and happens to not know this, even though that he came out in what, Generation 2? Giraffe Rig's name is, is it a palindrome where it's the same thing backwards and forwards? I think that's what it is. So it's Giraffe Rig. And if you go backwards, it's giraffe rig because he has the two heads on each side of his body. So it's like the... See what they were going for? The more you know. A Chudo, a Riolu, an Eevee, a C-Dot, an Electrike, a Reverse, Execute, and for the rare, a Metagross. Okay. And then we got the big old Chunky Chew himself on this pack. Hopefully we got one of him lurking inside. It's actually really funny because in Sword and Shield, I really like that big Pikachu. I used him a lot. Um, he was one of my first, because you get him, you get the G-Max Pikachu or Eevee if you have Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee save data on your Switch when you uh, boot up Sword and Shield, or I guess when you get to that point. So I had him since very early on and I just kind of stuck with him. I think until I got like electric, uh, Toxtricity. But I'll even run him on my teams in like the tournaments just to get some money and stuff because he's just he's just so funny. And the the Chew, or is it the Pika? Ah, uh, whatever he says when he becomes huge is so funny. Like it sounds so like demented. I don't know. An Excadrill again, a Meg Cargo. Really like the art style in that Meg Cargo as well. Got a Nessa, a Shuppet, a Poochiana, a Voltorb. A Rock Ruff, Clay Talo, a Reverse League Staff, and for the rare, <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny that my last pull was literally trash, and that is a Garbodor. All right, so we got a Zerud from that uh, three pack. That's not too bad. We're gonna uh, move everything to the side once again, and just. Uh, we'll actually slide that Vaporeon out the way. We'll go Zerud, Umbreon, and the Tauros. I love the textures they put on these cards. All right, stop touching them. You don't want to ruin it. So the last thing we got left is the double V-Box with four Champions Path packs. Um, I went to a store the other day, and I had uh, I saw a couple Hatterene boxes, and this whole side was just, like, open. And you could just didn't even do that you could just go like this and it would be open but i've been i've been seeing online that that's been happening to a lot of the cards and um the champions path sets like the boxes just aren't glued very well so we have a big old double that is a, that is a big boy even bigger than normal oh well you see their cards they are dying to get out that is a code card and some plastic so we have double v the big goatee boy himself, a.k.a. Hop's favorite Pokemon ever. And then we have four Champions Path Packs. All right, guys, so these are the last four packs I got. Um, I'm pretty happy with my pulls at this point. You know, I didn't get a ton of crazy things, uh, but I'm more than happy getting a secret a night, especially a classic like Tauros. Uh, let's go with the Alchemy Pack first. All right. So we got our fingers crossed for Noma Champs and four packs full of shiny Charizards, right? Okay. That is definitely going to happen. So we got a Fighting Energy, a Suspicious Food Tin, still very suspicious, a Malamar, a Machop, a Rolly Coley, a Carvana, a Potion, a Rock Ruff, a Revoid. <laughs> <laughs> a reverse Kabu. And for the... Re Ooh! Okay. We have a Dreadnought V, which is the full art. That is beautiful. How's the cutting? That's not bad. A little heavy on this side. But wow, from pack number one, I will definitely take that. I do not have this one either. Nice and textured as well. I actually really like Dreadnought. I used him in my first playthrough as like the water. I started with... Uh, was it? Yeah, I started with a Grookey, and uh, I just needed a water Pokemon. I ran into the Choodle pretty early, and then the rock typing is pretty swell as well. Um, though grass is, you know, yeah, quite his uh, 
Nemesis. But that's that's actually a really cool pull. Do not have that Dreadnought yet. We'll go into the Guard of War. Whew, bless me. Uh, one, two, three, four. A Steel Energy. A Team Yell Grunt. A Machoke. I love that Machoke. That Machoke art just looks like so well done. It's like a painting. A Rotom Bike. A Carvana. A Potion. A Rock Rough. Clay Weedle. A Swablu. For the reverse, no, oh, that's cool. I swab blue right into the uh, reverse Altaria. And for the rare, the man of the hour, the guy I didn't want at all, Machamp. I'm sure if you're into the cards, you've seen the joke online that, you know, it's Machampion's path because you just, everybody just, oh man. I have too many. So, alrighty, we got the two Obstagoon packs left. And Obstagoon, the first shiny I bred in Sword and Shield. He is, me and him are boys. Tell Piers, watch out, I'm coming for that gym. Okay, a Grass Energy, Team Yell, Rotom Phone. I, I was looking online the other day because I don't know what occurred to me. I was like, you know, it'd be really cool to have a Rotom Phone case. And I just couldn't find one. I found like a Rotom Phone, like an actual device that does, I don't know, I'm, I'll, I'll look into it and uh, report back. It kind of threw me off that I saw it was an actual device, but Ekans, a potion, a Bulbix, an Ink A, a Pokeball, a reverse bead, and for the rare, a Hatterene. Which I get. Maybe it's Hatterene's path too. <laughs> that wasn't a good one. Alright, guys. Very last one left. A Obstagoon Champion's Path Pack. And let's see what we get in here. I'm going to be gentle. Got to be gentle because it's a Charizard right there. We got a Fighting Energy. I'm a choke. Appears. Speak of the devil, you appear. Malamar. Rock Rough. A Purloin. Galarian Lanoon. A Sizzlepeed. A Hatena. A reverse Swablu to go with the reverse Altaria. Really put it down ever so gently. And for the rare, a Zygarde. Okay, I think I pulled that guy last time. From not last time, but one of the packs of Champions Path. Okay, so um, that was my Christmas opening. <laughs> uh, I got some pretty cool things in my opinion. The Full Art Dreadnought is fantastic. The Zerud V is cool since I do not believe I have him. The Umbreon GX is also beautiful. Uh, Umbreon and Espeon might be my favorites, though I really do like Leafeon. Oh, but it's probably Umbreon and Espeon. And then the Tauros Secret GX was fantastic. Um... You know, it's funny because yet again, I'm getting some of my best pulls out of dollar store packs. That's, uh, I'm going to crunch some numbers and run some ratios and see the exact statistics, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but, uh, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe and drop a like down below. My social media is in the bio of this video. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, um, I hope you guys had a very, very, very Merry Christmas. And I will catch you in the next one. Pokemon Trainer George.